from the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Mentor, Ohio. I'm Justin Kopsack. Today we're going to talk about the significance of the democratic ideals established by the Northwest Ordinance. The Northwest Ordinance guaranteed rights to the people, such as freedom of religion. There it is. The right to trial by jury. Education would be encouraged. And the Native Americans would be treated in good faith. It also banned slavery in the Northwest Territory. Additionally, the Northwest Ordinance established a three-step plan for admitting states from the Northwest Territory, like Ohio, to the United States. The steps included, number one, Congress would appoint a group of leaders to govern people in the territory, such as Arthur St. Clair. Number two, with a minimum population, the people of a part of the territory could elect political leaders to govern them. And number three, when the population was large enough, it could be admitted as a state, as Ohio was in 1803. Political leaders in Ohio wrote Ohio's first constitution, so Ohio could become a state. Ohio's constitution was modeled after the U.S. Constitution. Some land from the Northwest Territory was granted to Revolutionary War veterans as compensation for their service. From the James A. Garfield National Historic Site in Mentor, Ohio, I'm Justin Kopsack. Thank you for watching.